What's up everybody? Today I'm making another species profile, this time on the choke cherry or Prunus virginiana. This one is not in bloom, but I'll show you when it is in a second. Anyways, it's one of the first species to leaf out in the year that is native, which is a pretty cool feature about it. So it absolutely beckons the spring. And uh, it's got this inflorescence like this. Now the flowers aren't open, as I said, but you can see what they will look like when they're open or how the formation of the inflorescence will be. So this type of raceme, as it's called. And I'll produce these white, very typical rose family flowers, which basically means that it will have five petals, five sepals, and uh, a multiple stamens, like a large number, generally multiple of five, however. That's pretty typical for the family. Now, in general, the choke cherry is just a very widespread species in North America. It's found not just all throughout the western United States, but also in the uh, northeastern and midwestern states, uh, but not in the south, except for in parts of the Appalachians. There you go, there's never shot of the inflorescence, not yet open. Now I'll put a display of a range map for the species right now. Now, in addition to being a member of the family Rosaceae, the choke cherry is a member of the subfamily Amygdaloidae, and in particular the genus Prunus, which I've already stated. Now, some characteristics of Prunus are that they have one, simple leaves instead of compound leaves, which you can see there, as well as alternate instead of oppositely arranged leaves. Uh, the ovary in the flower is superior instead of inferior, although this is a bit difficult to tell because of the way the hypanthium and petals are laid out. Perhaps the most important of all, though, is that the fruit is a droop, which is a basically a regular fruit that has just one really large seed in the center. And some examples of droops include almonds, cherries, plums, apricots, and peaches, all of which happen to be members of the genus Prunus. Turns out Prunus is perhaps the greatest single uh, plant genera in terms of edible fruit we can derive from it. Now, as I said before, this plant is one of the first to leaf out in the sp spring, but it's actually a rather relatively late bloomer compared to especially some of the other ornamental cherries that we um, very often plant. Uh, that's a bit, so it's a bit backwards from those ones. Those ones, the ornamental cherries, tend to bloom before we leaf out, which is why they're so popular in the first place because they will just produce nice colorful flowers they'll be completely unobscured by leaves adding a really nice you know color to your lawn and whatnot and there you go there's a choke cherry actually in bloom you can see the white white flowers on it at least one more question and answer about it are the fruit edible well of course they're edible it's a member of the prunus genus but the thing is is that they are not palatable all they are a huge pit and they're sour and astringent and really there's you're not going to get a lot of meat off of them. You have to make them into a jelly if that's what you're interested in. But yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this plant and see you next time.